Uh, yeah, hello. My name is Anand in this AWS Solutions Architect uh, Associate. I want to demonstrate this module 9 uh, that is implementing Elasticity, High Availability and Monitoring. Uh, in this, yes, I want to demonstrate this challenge lab uh, that is uh, creating a scalable and high available environment for the cafe. Uh, you see this, uh, this is the cafe, this is the lab. I just start the lab and go through the objectives. Okay, so yeah, the environment. See the the concept is uh, the scenario featured by the famous TV food show. Uh, Sophia and Nikhil anticipate that the cafe website. Yeah, this is getting started. Web server will experience a temporary spike in the number of users, perhaps even up to tens and thousands of users. So, so they. Uh, decide I think uh, one availability zone as of now they are worried that it won't be able to handle when there is an increase in traffic so to ensure that experience uh, web uh, site must be responsive able to scale up both up and down okay must be like uh, auto scaling should be nearly uh, helpful for this solution instead of overloading on a single server the architecture must distribute the orders requests across multiple application servers it can handle it so in this lab, uh, Sophia wants to implement a scalable and uh, highly available architecture. So along with uh, auto scaling, we need to learn about, I mean demonstrate this uh, high availability also for this cafe web application. So uh, yes, this is the objectives of this lab. Uh, yeah, and the first uh, task is to inspect a VPC, update and uh, network the, to work across multiple availability zones create an application load balancer, launch template and using the template we are going to create an auto scaling group and then finally test the load balancing and auto scaling. So these are the contents which are needed for us. So the beginning of the lab you can see this is the architecture which is there. Uh, I just uh, show you. You have a, see the green is your public subnet 1 and public subnet 2. You have private subnet 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, you see that there is a database instance also in the private subnet okay and also you see uh, you have uh, what we call as an internet gateway you have a NAT gateway and also mainly you have this cafe application server uh, yeah cafe application server and uh, you have an AMI for that so yes internet gateway is connected across I mean which can be routed across through this public subnet and your NAT gateway should be approximately through the private subnets. Okay, so this is what is expected finally. This is what which is expected. So you see this cafe application servers can be scalable across uh, multi availability zones. You see this and also it should be high available also. It should be high available across two availability zones. So uh, yeah and the database instance also should be as a backend for this cafe application server. You have this uh, load balancer, you have auto scaling and you have remaining rest of the things like we also need to create a NAT gateway and connect to your public uh, sorry private subnet, uh, the second private subnet. Yes, the duration is uh, 90 minutes for this lab. So once the lab is ready, you can see the, sh the lab should be ready very soon. Uh, the business requirement, the challenge. So, Sophia understands that most uh, that she must complete some of the tasks to implement high availability and scalability for the cafe web application. However, before changing the website, I mean the cafe application architecture, Sophia must evaluate the current status. So, yes, she wants to inspect the task one is inspect your environment. You can evaluate the current status of the lab environment, explore the lab environment. In so yes, to explore that we have some questionnaire I think here you can see this answer the questions, access the questions. Uh, so you can see once the lab is started several some uh, several question 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 questions. So if we answer these 6 questions, yes uh, we are done with task 1. So let me just wait till the lab gets started. Okay. So now the lab is ready, it has taken more than uh, 15 minutes or 18 minutes it has taken for the lab to get started. Okay, anyway, so let me go with the details. 
uh, and say just say show to see the questionnaire yeah you have this access this multiple choice questions this will load in a new window yeah so also so also i click this aws uh, it loads the console so if you get a message by any chance like this just say log out and then click once again you should be able to because the previous cookies may be left over uh, lab cookies so that needs to be refreshed yeah so this is my lab yes so my first question here you can see this uh, which ports are open for cafe C, uh, cafe uh, sg security group so that is the first question so i i go to this uh, ec2 and uh, see the security groups uh, see the security groups you need to see this cafe cg yeah this one you can see the inbound rules i think http port 80 is only open and that's all port 80 yeah can you connect from the internet to instances to in public subnet one uh, just check the instance yeah this, let me check this cafe web server yeah uh, if you see networking this is there in uh, private subnet one okay and also definitely as per the diagram you can understand that you have a public subnet public ip also hence we can easily say yes you can connect uh, to this if the instance has a public ip okay and a security group if it is yes so should an instance uh, in the private subnet one be able to reach the internet in our case this is yes we already checked now okay so the th the fourth question should an instance in private subnet 2 be able to reach the internet private subnet 2 be able to reach the internet no no we don't have any public ip no or anywhere can you connect cafe web server instance from the internet cafe web application server let me check so cafe application web server from the internet can we connect no because port number 22 is not open so i can say this no so what is the name of the amazon ami so this one name of the amazon ami so let me check see this ami yeah this is amazon cafe web server uh, image so that is your amazon ami cafe web server image yeah you can select this and say submit oh sir i didn't submit all the things can you connect now you say submit each and every answer should be submitted successfully and this one also yeah has been successfully submitted yes all the questions are successfully submitted you see once again let me say question one is submitted question two is submitted question three four yes i think five and six we already submitted five and six is already submitted so this completes my questionnaire i keep it aside yeah so this completes my task one so now let us move to task two creating a NAT gateway for the second availability zone so uh, yes uh, let us create a NAT gateway in the public subnet in the second availability zone so for this uh, go to I mean I will just try to duplicate this one go to VPC so VPC and just press enter So this has to be created in a public subnet in the second availability zone. So by seeing the requirements you see uh, even your route table 
you have a private route table 234 just go to your NAT gateways you already have a NAT gateway here you see this one NAT gateway yeah which is connected to your lab VPC and you see the subnet public subnet 1 okay we are going to connect uh, we are going to create an add gateway yes uh, maybe you can give optional maybe uh, my NAT or NAT 2 NAT 2 second NAT so subnet I can select this uh, public subnet 2 it is very clear instructions yeah public uh, you can just say allocate an elastic IP yeah it has been allocated yeah and an add to create an add gateway so it will take some time this status is currently pending it will take some time to get it created so nine configure the network uh, to send inbound traffic for instances in private subnet 2 to uh, that means the route basically you need to create a route uh, private subnet 2 to the NAT gateway you just created uh, inbound traffic go to your VPC this is in private subnet 2 route tables yeah private sub private route table 2 this one yeah you see the routes see for this particular one if I check this private route table 1 uh, if you check the routes so this is already you see this one the NAT is connected here 0000, 0, 0, 0 NAT same thing I want to do for this private route table 2 ok so here in routes uh, I do not have any route now edit a route so what I do add a route table uh, 0000, 0, 0, 0 and you can say NAT gateway uh, NAT2 you can select this NAT2 and say save changes so this uh, pri private route table is now uh, routed route table 2 uh, is through the yes this is done this is task 2 ok creating a bastion host instance in a public subnet this is task number 3 so from the EC2 console so what you do I go back to this EC2 console leave this uh, uh, VPC aside so this is my EC2 yeah go back to instances so what I do uh, yeah create an EC2 instance in one of the public subnets lab VPC with the following criteria you can see this one uh, the name of this host is bastion host ok just copy this I want to launch an instance okay so the instance name is uh, bastion host and this is a amazon linux 2 I select this amazon linux 2 not 23 uh, select this amazon linux 2 okay and of course uh, the system can be t2 micro leave it key pair uh, work key you can select I think yeah uses work key follow the instructions very carefully ok so in network settings just say edit and leave this default to lab VPC and create this instance in which subnet lab VPC uh, one of the public subnets one of the public subnets you can have uh, public subnet 2 that is ok assign public IP is ok and uh, the security group which we need to allow is uh, yeah uh, allow the traffic of uh, SSH and uh, port number 22 so you can create your own security group ok uh, I give the name uh, maybe I can say Baston SG ok and SSH is allowed from anywhere SSH your IP address 
so not completely your IP address my IP ok and what else oh, key pair that is all you will create an EC2 instance with the following it must meet the following criteria absolutely so this should be done so this completes the task number 3 task 4 creating a launch template so we are going to create a launch template which will be used for uh, our auto scaling so amazon ami uh, i can say yeah cafe uh, web server image so i can say look, go to launch template there is nothing create a launch template one image and yeah This is okay, this is okay, not required source template. Uh, the image you go to my AMI cafe web server image that is what he mentioned. Choose this particular one, see this okay. Uh, cafe T2 micro and uh, create a new key pair, new key pair okay. instance type uh, just say t2 micro do not include specify create a new key pair uh, I go with ppk key pair name I mean I will say linux or you can give on or whatever it is linux create a key pair so key pair is downloaded with yeah network settings see the network settings so this is cafe sg security group we need to use that FSG okay is okay uh, and in advanced uh, just select the role also I am going to profile I think this cafe role let me check once again role cafe role I am instance profile role is cafe role ok we also need to give uh, web server is the name of the server name of the server should be the web server it's not cafe all uh, tip look into the advanced details rest all I think you can do as it is create a launch template so the launch template is successful launch template is successful you see when you click this launch template you should see this one which has been created okay so now so uh, yes in this task 5 uh, creating an auto scaling uh, group okay create a new auto scaling group that meets the following criteria 
so this is uh, task number five uh, launch template this launch template is already done uh, so what we are going to do uh, is that from this launch template uses uh, we are going to create an auto scaling group okay so yeah you can select this maybe uh, create an auto scaling group yeah create an auto scaling group using this template okay so this uh, group name is there anything given okay uh, not given anything you can write your own as given like uh, there is nothing no load, load balancer just scroll down this is step number 3 ok uh, just say next here the capacity which is measure 2 2 and 6 desired capacity is 2 just increase the capacity to 2 sorry 2 and minimum capacity to 2 so that 2 instances will be started once you start launch maximum capacity is 6 and you can say target tracking policy is also mentioned uh, average cpu is 25 and instances need a 60 okay average cpu utilization target value is 25 instance needed 60 60 seconds okay so yeah scale in protection you can leave as it is to verify that yeah amazon ec2 console yeah once this yeah so there are i think status is now uh, two instances already been created i'll just uh, what we do uh, duplicate this session go to ec2 yes ec2 dashboard maybe instances yeah you should see two instances getting ready these are the two instances you are getting initialized you see two instances if you give tags then it should have been given the name okay so to verify that you have created go to amazon ec2 console you should have two instances both were with the name that you have configured a resource tag in the previous task yeah yeah you can see there are two web servers which has been created see one and two two web servers have been created yeah so uh, now uh, to verify that yes correctly should have two instances with the same name and the last part is creating a load balancer you can create a, a load balancer you see this one create a http load balancer with the following criteria uh, yeah i just go to this load balancer the last but one uh, this is the load balancer so here I create a load balancer I create an application this is for HTTP and HTTPS just say create so the load balancer name uh, with the following criteria ok uh, I think you can give your own name there is no restriction maybe I can say ELB elastic load balancer I give that and say internet facing and the VPC is your lab VPC see the parameters ok uses the two public subnets public subnets select two public subnets yeah you can select this public subnet 1 and public subnet 2 yeah security groups uh, he mentioned to select the security group as uh, new security group that allows http traffic from anywhere ok create a new security group you can create later also 
for ELB SG I say that ok VPC lab VPC inbound rules allow port 80 HTTP all not all HTTP traffic anywhere and say same So I go back, I use the same security group, try to refresh, I use this, not the default one, ok and create a target group. instances and say target group name it is not mentioned anything skips the skip registering so just provide this uh, target group name maybe I can say Anand TG target group port number 80 lab VPC health checks ok say next register targets leave as it is create a target group ok so go back go back try to refresh and select the target group ok and create a load balancer create a load balancer see this one wait until the load balancer is still active so modify the auto scaling group you have created by adding this new load balancer so this new load balancer should be included in your auto scaling group so this is uh, your new load balancer so which is still in provisioning which is still in provisioning it should come active so the load balancer name is anand elb so here uh, in this auto scaling uh, just select my template and say try to edit this one uh, and go to the load balancer say application yeah I don't know this one I just say yeah I have attached this one and just say update just say update so your load balancer should be active very soon and finally you can test yeah this is your DNS this is your DNS on in the LB where your website should function okay so uh, yes let me try to submit Sophia has now testing the web application slash cafe should be able to see the application let me check so you can see uh, your final score is completely 36 out of 36 all all done uh, ok so finally you can also see this load balancer slash cafe yeah this is successfully been demonstrated this endpoint URL should work so this is the end of our lab ok so you see this score complete uh, yeah let us meet again in another lab thank you and bye